The Delhi Police Special Cell has made a significant breakthrough in cracking an ISIS module case by arresting terror suspects Mohammad Shah Nawaz and two other accused. Now, in fact, the arrests and searches had been conducted across the national capital region since the last week, and this culminated in the dismantling of the ISIS module. According to sources, Mohammad Shah Nawaz, an engineer by profession, is an operative of the ISIS module in Delhi and Pune. Additionally, the other two individuals are also suspected terrorists linked to the ISIS. Their intended targets were in Delhi, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan, particularly during crowded festivals. A clandestine plot was underway to target densely populated areas during these occasions and the arrest of Shah Nawaz was carried out by the special cell of the Delhi police. Now, this particular suspect, uh, suspected ISIS operative was already on the NIA's most wanted list but with a bounty of 3 lakh rupees on his head. He was wanted in the Pune ISIS case and Shah Nawaz had been residing in Delhi from having fled from Pune police custody and established his residence in the national capital. कि इन्होंने वेस्टर्न इंडिया सदर्न इंडिया में अलग-अलग जगह पे जिसकी हम पूरी डिटेल आपको अलग से एक प्रेस नोट के जरिए दे देंगे इन्होंने रैकी करी वेस्टर्न घाट्स में इन्होंने अपना टिकाना बनाने की कोशिश करी कई ऐसे वाइल्डलाइफ एरियाज थे जहां पे इन्होंने नंबर ऑफ वीक्स बिताए और इनको क्लियरली एक टास्किंग दी जाती थी कि किस स्टेज पे क्या करना है इवन गुजरात अहमदाबाद एटसेट्रा इन एरियाज में भी इनको काफी इन्होंने इलेबोरेट रैकी करी और इनको क्लियर टास्किंग दी गई थी कि जो भी इन्होंने प्लान करना है वो इस तरीके से करना है कि लोकल प्रोक्योरमेंट हो ताकि किसी भी तरीके से जो क्रॉस बॉर्डर एलिमेंट्स हैं उन पे बाद में इनकी जो एलिजेंस या जो इनको गाइडेंस है उसका जो आ, कोई भी ब्लेम है वहां पे ना लग सके my colleague Priyank joins us live with more information on this. Priyank, stunning details that have been revealed by the Delhi police about this particular module. Three people have been arrested, including a most wanted person. And all of these people had carried out recce in different parts of the nation. And in fact, the Delhi police is also saying that the notes that have been recovered show that these people were finding out ways to maximize casualties in the attacks that they would carry out. Uh, yes, sir, yeah, but at the same time, the Delhi police is also saying that uh, the handlers Based in Pakistan were the same one who were behind the Ahmedabad blast case. Uh, but uh, what it has been said that there are more suspects who could be behind the same module. We are talking about a module which had its link from Pune, then uh, Madhya Pradesh, because uh, there was a car full of ID which was also found in Ratlam. And uh, following to which uh, there were two suspects which were arrested by uh, the National Investigating Agency. Shanawaz was uh, one of the most wanted list of, uh, among the most wanted list of terrorists of the National Investigating Agency. And while probing the case, the had already unearthed the Indian Mujahideen as well as several modules of ISIS, uh, was also looking for him. Uh, they have also arrested Rizwan, the person who was a Molana who had uh, given a uh, buyer to these uh, suspects to show their oath of allegiance in the name of uh, Caliphate. Uh, at uh, this juncture, what Delhi police is saying that uh, the wife of Shanawaz is also absconding, who was initially a Gujarati uh, resident. Uh, later on, she converted into Islam, and there could be several other people who were behind it. But the modus operandi is very serious because time and again they were trying to uh, carry out ID uh, explosion in the forest area to check their efficiency, and uh, they were looking for the possible target. And several senior dignitaries could also be behind. Uh, the target of these suspects. Uh, so very serious yes. uh, charges against these suspects where the, the module has been busted by the police and police uh, has taken police command of these accused for seven days and certainly they will also be handed over to the NIA once the Delhi police investigation is over. All right, uh, Priyank, thanks a lot for all of that information. Stunning uh, details that have uh, now come out from the uh, Delhi Police's press conference about this particular module, which was planning attacks in several parts of the nation and had even prepared elaborate plans to carry that out.